the place for comic book and anime reviews. Hey there you guys, welcome to Brown Couch on YouTube. I'm here for all your comic book and anime reviews. And today I'm doing my review of Spider-Man number 72, issue number one. Um, so, I never reread really the first Spider-Man ish series, series one shot or whatever that came out a while back when Mel and Peter first teamed up together to kind of like go on this big epic adventure. Um, but I have seen Mel and Peter team up more, many, many times before, and it's kind of become a, the staple of their relationship at this point of them just kind of like teaming up together to like kind of like fight villains all the time and stuff like that. So this is thing that we haven't seen before. Uh, what made me so interested in coming back to this um, story, though, what made me want to read it, is because you know this is this is very different to me. It seems very very different to me. You know, we were getting a lot of storyline, story arc events, sequels or whatnot. You know, again, Deadpool killed the Marvel Universe again because the last one sold so well. It was one of the most popular selling comics. Um, we're getting got Civil War 2, which was just a cash grab for the Civil War 2 movie. We got the Lazarus contract, which was just a cash grab because Jesus contract sold so well. Um, this one feels a little bit more, you know, legitimate, kind of, because we don't, there's no real, the last Spider-Man series didn't sell that well. It sold so well, but it didn't sell, like, bonkers numbers. Um, uh, and... You know, this one didn't feel doesn't feel like it's being done. It, it is such a it's such a point now that because we've seen it so many times at this point. Um, Molly here teaming up doesn't feel like it's in the end. It's, it's it's so different and so new that you know like we really need it or anything like that. Uh, so this all kind of felt really interesting that they kind of that business decided to go and do a sequel now for this. Uh, and that's kind of how it feels like when you read it. You feel like this is kind of like a story that Bendis kind of just wanted to tell at this point. That he felt like this is the right time to, I guess, tell this story. Um, and with this book, we kind of found out, like, all the, you know, we see that Peter and Mother kind of are in this, like, really rough spot, pretty much. And they're not really getting along too well. Peter in this is really angry. Here and that's one thing I kind of didn't really like. I didn't really like how our character Peter Parker was in this book, and how angry he always acted. Uh, it didn't really feel like Peter Parker to me. Um, as well, it felt really, it felt very weird to me. To just kind of see it all. We don't know what has happened though, because the, the the illusion is that something has happened between Miles and Peter, that where Peter is now angry at Miles for something, and we don't really know what that is. Um, so after, so later on they end up going their separate ways, and we kind of get to see like Peter Parker kind of fighting the armadillo, and we also get to see Miles hang out with Genki at school and talking about this girl that they both that he liked that Miles just happens to like, and you know we see like their their, their the duality of their lives kind of like, and you know kind of how like similar but different they are. And um, near the end of the issue though, we kind of find out that you know. Someone is doing something very strange here, you know. Um, there's a giant light that comes out from the sky, you know, kind of like a sky where like, we've seen like in a billion other movies. And from it, we get the Taskmaster from the Ultimate Universe kind of coming out. And after Miles and Peter kind of come together and kind of see this happening, they don't know what's really going on here and why Taskmaster from the Ultimate Universe is back again. And you know, we kind of cut over to, to see like this young woman at this house, and so knocks up to the door, who said that there his name is Miles, and we don't know who this other Miles is. We know he has all these scars on his face. We don't know, and we don't know who he is. We, there's been a lot of people talking and saying that it's the Miles Mark of the Six One Six Universe, the original Six One Six Universe, before the Ultimate Universe. It's going to be the universe kind of merged together. That's what we're kind of seeing a lot more of um, with this, the new 616. We're kind of seeing like the ultimate universe slowly but surely coming back to prominence. Um, like all the characters from the ultimate universe kind of coming back, possibly. Um, and I think that's what this is kind of is. It's kind of seem like a continuation of like 
bringing certain elements of the Ultimate Universe back into the main continuity to kind of like, you know, do something really big with it. But we don't know what that big thing is right now. Um, so this was a very interesting issue, you guys. There was a lot here to talk about, a lot here to digest. And I really kind of, really quite enjoyed it all as well. Well, so you guys, let me know comments below what you thought about this issue of Spider-Man issue number one. Are you guys interested in keep going with this series? Do you guys think that there is some clout here? That Venice is really has yeah, something, a really a great story they want to tell us? Um, let me know comments below what you guys think, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.